Jones, Indiana Jones, Indiana Jones. It's a podcast about Indiana Jones. Every movie, one minute at a time. Welcome back to the Indiana Jones Minute, the podcast in which we celebrate and discuss the film Raiders of the Lost Ark one minute at a time. I'm Tom Taylor from IamTomTaylor.com. I'm Pete Mummert. I'm Jerry Porter. I'm Kevin Marr from the Kevin Geeks Out Show. Welcome back, Kevin. Thanks. Thanks for having me again. Thanks for uh, lowering yourself back into the (laughs) map room with us. (laughs) Your arms must be getting tired. I've been, after going I've been up and here down. all along. I had no rope. I had no way to get out. I've been waiting. <laughs> oh <for you> my <laughs> god! I am Thanks. so sorry. That's embarrassing. It's we okay. usually run a tighter show than that. I'm sorry. It's okay. I've been playing a gigantic game of cribbage. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say mastermind. I was thinking that was oh, like mastermind. Oh yeah, mastermind. <laughs> <clears throat> um, but all right, minute fifty-three. Minute 53 begins with Indy uh, beginning to make his calculations in the map room, and it ends with him starting to place the headpiece on the staff. And uh, (laughs) Indy takes out a very fabled uh, bit of um, paraphernalia in this minute. Uh, We were wondering if he, like every bored archaeology student, uh, would get a brush at some point. And he finally takes out his brush today in minute 53, his little archaeological brush. That's pretty much all that's important on this minute, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> is we're halfway through the movie, and it's you're like, oh my gosh! So maybe for a second, for one of these minutes in the film, you you you, you think maybe he actually got his degree in archaeology. <laughs> because he has the it, official archaeology brush that you only yeah. get when you graduate archaeology school, right? And then, of course, in, in classic Indiana Jones fashion, he like <laughs> monkey bars all over the all over the hieroglyphics yeah. afterwards. That would have been that would have been a really fantastic scene in the in the beginning of the third movie. That River Phoenix gets the hat, the bullwhip, and the brush. <laughs> <laughs> You're all right, kid. Take this brush. Have my official Indiana Jones brush. <laughs> Well, that, that I feel like that might be the only bit of evidence that we have that he's he's actually an archaeologist after yeah, fifty three minutes. But see, I was thinking that too, and I got excited because I was like, okay, so far this archaeologist guy hasn't known a single one of the ancient languages of whatever thing he's looking for at that time. And here, like he starts running his finger along the hieroglyphics. I'm like, oh, he knows Egyptian. All right, he saved himself. But then he he stops at one of the symbols, and then he kind of opens up his little notebook and flips through it, and then he, like, he finds that symbol, and he kind of taps back on it on the on the thing, like, oh, that's what that is. <laughs> oh, right, like, <laughs> like he's got the cheat sheet in there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, well, wavy yeah, lines mean wavy Ark of the Covenant. Oh, that, that's where I put the staff. Yeah, well, and I was like, what, you know, you're like, what is that? Is that uh, Lonely Planet Tannis Edition? <laughs> like, what's this... <laughs> You never see the book. I mean, was it Abner's? It's actually a really good question. Like, yeah. I always just say, like, oh, it's like his yeah, archaeology notebook. But, yeah, what exactly, if he's got notes specific to the headpiece and to the Ark and the map room and everything, then, yeah, maybe that is Abner's or something. That's weird. You know, it's interesting when you talk about how he doesn't learn the languages, he doesn't learn to make the right friends, he doesn't really practice a lot of archaeology. <laughs> But in that big, in that in that scene, very early on, when he meets with the government officials, he knows the Christian mythology. He knows the yeah. Sunday school. It's like, didn't you guys go to Sunday school? He knows what's important: <laughs> Christian, Judeo-Christian mythology. Well, yeah, it's like we, yeah, it's like he. I I get the sense that he's actually. I think he's probably a good professor of archaeology. I think he probably like knows his stuff. But yeah, when it comes to like going outside and like doing stuff, like planning things, he's kind of like, I know, I'll take a bulldozer and find a china cup. This is going to be awesome. I'm going to just, you know, throw a bunch of basketballs down to the map room and see what bounces, you know, and he's just kind of 
planning without planning. I th- I think that the you know Marshall College was like you know we have only an eight percent enrollment of females, and we're going to have to change this. <laughs> we need the hottest archaeologist. Uh, yeah, we can find. And it's like well what what about his publishing and da, 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 don't worry about it. Let's just no, we're going to throw them at the the one hundred and two hundred level courses. You know the old the old neo meaning new lithic meaning stone course. <laughs> They'll be blown away by that by that basic basic Latin. They won't yeah, even. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna up our numbers here. <laughs> With or without glasses, he's hot. Speaking of glasses, by the way, he's not wearing his glasses right now. How is he reading that tiny little book? Oh, good point. Yeah. Do they have contact lenses in nineteen thirty six? It gets so so. sandy. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. (laughs) The total fraud. I bet those glasses are fake. He just wears those because they make them hotter for the female (laughs) students. (laughs) I was always amazed when when he when he blows on the the hieroglyphics. I'm like, wow, that really works. Like it almost works better than the brush. (laughs) I love. All, every bit of sand business in this whole scene, like just the way, yeah, the way he brushes it and then he blows it and then he's like kind of tracing that super fine sand with his fingers super lightly trying to find, like he doesn't really need to be that delicate, like trying to find the holes and stuff like that. It sounds like I'm being sexual and I don't mean to be, but like, you know, he's just ha- like, he could, he could just brush the entire thing off and oh, I see a series of holes. I'm going to figure out which one to go, but he's like just being so... Like, almost like he's having a nice time, like, just finding it and, like, you know, oh, I'm like, hey, wait, I have an awesome question, by the way, everybody. Why is there sand covering that thing if the Germans have already been down there? That just occurred well, to me. Well, Belloc was in the wrong hole. <laughs> he was in the wrong map room. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, you. I, what I wanted to know is Indy goes right to the right line of the hieroglyphics, you know. He goes right to the right line. And I was oh, like... Right. Because it, cause it, it looks like, I don't know, maybe there's 20 of them. It's like a paragraph or a Rosetta Stone looking thing. And you're like, all right. And so you're like, well, how did he, did he go up and then crawl back one Kadam? <laughs> <laughs> like, how did he know which one of those to go to? Well, doesn't, see, it have, one of the doesn't it have to do with dates? Isn't that like a calendar? Yeah, that's, I, uh, yeah. So I guess at a, at a glance, you know what month of the calendar to go to maybe? Eh, but he barely even like he he's that's he he eyeballs it before wiping the sand away, which by the way is exactly what he does before he goes into the cave. He eyeballs the sand again. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. That's true. This is why you like Indiana Jones so much because he just he's <laughs> like you. He just kind of like eh. I'll he's a total park me- driving yeah, across he's the country. A, <laughs> he's a total mess. <laughs> I'm sure that holiday. <laughs> Wi-Fi would be good. That's incredible that you just said that as your Wi-Fi was going out. That was really well done. <laughs> I don't know how you planned that. That was awesome. I like your calendar thing, though, Kevin, because I was wondering, like, how does how oh, does he know God. like where to put the crystal like at the right time because the sun would rise at a different place depending on what day of the year and how does? He I know? mean, he he is cutting it really close to hit that nine a.m. mark. <laughs> he did That's not true. give himself wiggle room. He should have camped out in there and like done all his, yeah, his, his thinking and his dusting and his brushing and yeah, I got it all figured out hours ahead of time. But hey, I guess it worked. Well, here's what I want to know. What are the other, there's like, how many holes are there in the floor? Well, that's for like, you know, July, August, well, this, you know, or I was August of 530. Like, what if you put it in? Would it be like, oh, I'm going to find out where the main sewer is. <laughs> um, <laughs> like if you put it on the far left like hole number 2b they'd be like oh that's where the you know the, the main sewage aqueduct thing is yeah you go over you're like the post oh, office. There's a, yeah there's a, the tannis post office <laughs> it's a staff of rock gift shop <laughs> the old tannis mexican restaurant <laughs> <laughs> the tannis tapas <laughs> yeah, wait, is it here? Is it in this minute that we see the uh the the German graffiti all over the No, the that's next, no, next, 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 next minute. I will but cut that out do, then. <laughs> what you do have here is you do and correct me if I'm wrong if you guys saw this too. He does actually seem to find where Belloc put his staff and then he does go back one kadam. 
Like they actually oh, make you... a point of that. Did you guys, as, as far yeah. as I can tell, and and if you look at the the hole, it has a little bit of like Belloc was here, <laughs> type of like it's 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 not a virgin hole. But it's still mostly covered in sand, isn't it? Is that the one you're talking about? It's it 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 yeah, but it looks like it could have been maybe the sand that blew in overnight or blew in over like five days or something. Because you, well, they you maybe. figured they 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 found the map room. He says that, like Porkins says that, or you know, when the when the government yeah. guys come. So you're like, all right, well, so maybe, maybe that was just a normal accumulation over a week or two. It, it looks like the hole has has recently been been used, though. A staff's been in because then he passes yeah, you're, over. You're absolutely right. And then he he puts his his staff in in a virgin hole. Wait, what did you just say? He puts in, he puts his staff in a virgin hole. Okay. Look, man, it's that music. Last time that, he last time, music. <laughs> last time he did that, he ruined his relationship with Abner. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Hasn't he learned about not sticking things in holes? There's a really nice there's a really nice camera angle when Sal is out b- between the two trucks and we see the rope on the truck and the and the camera just kind of tilts around. And it's it's yeah. almost it's almost like meanwhile in the Joker's hideout. <laughs> right. That's almost one of those Batman yeah. Batman Dutch angles for the villains. <laughs> but I guess that's just supposed to to really drive the uh the discomfort that Sal is feeling that things are a little off. Right. I can hear that music as you're describing that scene and I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, on that fake trumpet note, uh, why don't we, uh, reconvene here tomorrow for minute 54? Um, Pete, do you, uh, want to tell people, um, which hole to stick their message (laughs) pole in? God. I'm going to leave that entirely up to them, but, uh, (laughs) all right. If you want to see what we have to say about other things, uh, check us out on Facebook or IndianaJonesMinute.com or Twitter or Instagram or just look around. Yeah, just just wander around on the internet. You'll find us. <laughs> We're there somewhere. Um, and in your wanderings, please uh, wander back here uh, tomorrow for Minute 54 of Raiders of the Lost Ark here on the Indiana Jones Minute. Minute.